In this video, you will learn the right way to install end caps as an alternative to coving around your shower area. This is in preparation for installing bathroom cladding around the shower area, which we're going to show you how to do in next week's video. The first step will be to fit internal trims on your internal corners so that you can get an accurate measurement for the end caps. Start by using a tape measure to measure from floor to ceiling and then you can lay out an internal corner trim on a flat surface. You'll need to then transfer the measurement onto it, but make sure you mark this clearly with a pencil. Use a multi-tool to make an accurate cut down the line you have marked, and then ensure you have an impact driver and 12mm countersunk screws ready. Peel back the protective layer of your trim, and then push it flush against the wall. Now drill the countersunk screws into the edge of your trim on both sides ensuring you add a screw at around every 300mm interval. Complete the same process with your other trim, but only apply a few screws to this to fix it into place. You now have both internal trims secured to your wall. Now you can add the end caps to the top of your wall. The first step is to measure the length between both internal corner trims. Grab your end cap and transfer your measurement onto the trim, marking again with the pencil. Cut this with a multi-tool and when you have, make sure you peel off the protective layer. Add the end cap to the top of the wall and then fix this into place with the screws. Carry out this process for the remaining areas of your wall. Now we need to do the same around the shower tray, fixing each end cap into place with screws. We hope you've enjoyed this short video showing you how to install end caps around your shower area. If you would like to know how to complete your shower area in full, don't miss next week's video where we're going to show you how to install bathroom panels around your shower and complete the job. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the channel and look out for more videos on DIY tips and the future.